Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this responsive navigation bar to your blogger website. Now, if you want to learn how to design this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, you can watch my previous videos. I have shown you how to design all of this from scratch. And uh, we can see that we have also these hover effects over here for these menu items. And uh, let me show you the mobile version. So let me just decrease the width of the screen. And uh, here we can see this is how the mobile version looks and we have this menu icon over here and if I click on that we have the menu items displayed over here and if I click on this menu icon once more it goes back. So this is completely responsive. Now I will leave the link of the source code of this project in the description of this video. Right so in this video we are going to add this to our blogger website. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and this is how it looks right now and if I go over here to theme here we can see that I'm using this theme called notable light and it comes by default with blogger so here we can see this is the theme All right now to add this navigation bar we need to edit the theme so let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML and let's scroll down and find the CSS so here we can see these are all the CSS of the theme Let's scroll down and go to the end. Alright, this is the end of the CSS. So I'll just make some space over here. And we will add our custom CSS over here. So the first thing we will do is we will just hide this default navigation bar. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And let's see what are the elements and we need to hide them in the CSS. So if you scroll up, we can see that we have this header with the class of centered top container. So let's click on this element and here we can see this is the selector of the element and here we can just add a line of code display and set it to none and now we can see that the navigation bar is not displayed over here. So let's copy this selector from here and let's go back to our theme code and I'll just paste it over here and uh, here I'll just type display of none. Now let's go back to our website and uh, now if you scroll down and if you scroll up we can see that we have one more header displayed over here so let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's see what is the selector of this element so this is the element let's click on the element and here we can see this is the selector of the element so if we just type display of none over here we can see that the header is hidden so let's copy this selector and uh, let's go back to our theme code and I'll just add a comma over here and let's paste the selector over here. Alright now the next thing we will do is we will add the code of this navbar to our blogger theme code. I will add the code just after this CSS. So let's go to the source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's copy everything inside the body. So let's copy from the start of the nav and let's scroll down and let's copy it till here till the end of the ul now here you can go ahead and customize this navbar to your needs so here we can see these are the icons so you can go ahead and add your own icons over here so this is for instagram and twitter you can go ahead and add the link of any icons over here these are basically font awesome icons so you can get the code of the icon from fontawesome.com and then here we have the menu items so you can go ahead and change this text to whatever you want and just add the link of the page over here in place of this hash and you can do the same for this uh, menu items for the desktop version all right once you've done all the customization you can just copy and paste this code to your blogger theme code so i'll just copy this from here and let's go back to our blogger theme code so if you scroll down here we can see we have the start of the body tag if you cannot find this you can just search for it over here so just press command f or Control f and just search for less than body and you'll find this line of code so inside the body we will add the code so i'll just add it just after this line of code of skip navigation so i'll just make some space over here and i'll just paste the html over here all right the html has been pasted now the next thing we will do is add the css so let's go back to our source code and let's go to the style.css file and i'll just copy all of this from here and let's go back and let's scroll up and let's go to the CSS. So here just after this CSS, I'll just paste the CSS. 
right now the last thing we will do is add the javascript so let's scroll down and let's go to the end of the theme code and here just before the body ends i'll just add a script tag so i'll just create a script tag over here and i'll just paste the css inside the script tag so let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file and i'll just copy everything from here and paste it over here now the last thing we need to copy from here is the link of font awesome because we are using the font awesome icons in this uh, nav bar so let's go back to our source code and let's go to the html and if we scroll up we can see that we have the link of font awesome over here inside the head tag so i'll just copy this link from here and let's go back and let's go to the top and here inside the head tag i'll just paste the link of font awesome so i'll just paste it over here right now let's click on save right now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and let's see how it looks right here we can see our navbar is being displayed over here but we have some problems in the css the first thing we need to fix is that this navbar is behind all the other elements so we need to add some z index and the next thing we need to fix is we need to add a background color over here for this navbar so right now it doesn't have any color so if i click over here and go to inspect and let's scroll up and let's select this uh, navbar container and let's add the styles over here and let's see whether it works so let's add a z index and let's set it to 200 and we'll also add a background color so let's set a background color of white and now we can see it looks all right we'll also increase the width a little bit so i'll just set the max width to some higher value so i think 944 pixels looks all right so let's make these changes we need to set a max width of 944 pixels and we also need to copy these two lines of code so let's go back to our theme code and let's go to the css and here we can see we have the css of the nav bar so here i'll just paste the two lines of code and I will also set the max width to 944 pixels. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to add some spacing above these elements over here because we have this nav bar over here. So let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's select the body. And for the body we will have a padding top and let's set it to 100 pixels. And now we can see we have this spacing at the top. But we also have the spacing for this navbar so let's inspect the navbar and uh, for the navbar we will set a top position of zero and now everything looks all right so let's go back and make these changes so here i'll just select the body and uh, here we'll just type padding top of 100 pixels and for the navbar container i'll just set the top value to zero and let's save it and let's see how it looks All right now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and we can see that everything looks all right we don't have any problems let's open the mobile version and we can see that the mobile version also works all right let's click on this menu icon and we need to add z index for these menu items as well so let's go back to our template code and let's go to the CSS and let's scroll down and let's go to the menu items so this is the selector for the mobile menus so here I'll just type Z index and let's set it to 200 let's save it let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and let's open the mobile version and uh, now we can see everything works all right now let's open a post so let's open this third post and this is how the third post looks so i think everything looks all right now the last thing we need to do is we need to add the link of the home page for this logo so right now if we click on this we don't go anywhere so let's do that so i'll just copy this link of our website and let's go back to our template code and let's go to the html so i'll just search for the body tag so i'll just press command f and search for less than body and uh, here we can see we have the logo so in place of this hash i just paste the link of our home page and let's save it 
and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page All right now let's click on this uh, logo and here we can see we are taken to this home page let's click on this first post and let's click on this logo and we are taken back to the home page all right so that's basically how you add a responsive navbar to your blogger website now if you want to learn how to design this from scratch i have videos on that you can go ahead and check them out i will leave the link in the description of this video and i will also leave the link of the source code so you can just copy and paste the code to your website all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day